Hey guys, Zar you here and today, should I say Zari's here? Because I'm playing my Dis Priest and uh, these are some of the final games that I had pushing for Gladiator on my Priest um, before the season ended back in Legion Season 3. And in addition to getting rank 1 on my Mage and Glad on my Alt Mage, I think I got Glad here on my Disc Priest and I like to just push for Gladiator on my Disc. Um, or Shadow, or Holy, depending on the season, on my Priest, just for fun, it's something I like to do. I don't get it every season, but I usually get Glad just to, uh, I don't know, I, I, I like I like playing my Priest for fun and getting Glad on it here and there. So, here are some of the games leading up to it. The enemy team has a Mage on it, we're playing Jungle. Uh, jungle kind of owns mages, so we're training the mage. Here I have mage on my focus target. I want to mention that because if the mage casts a sheep, I can premonition or shadow or death it. Used to be called shadow or death premonition now. Um, grip my feral out of there a little bit on that stun. And just healing my hunter. I am playing a pretty basic build here. I could go for a fear off of that... Um, you know, off the hunter CC, but I try to go for the MD instead. I do get beamed out on the MD. Still good pushing for fear, but it leaves me the chance of just getting cloned and sheep to oblivion. Um, trying to dispel the sheeps and the clones and stuff as much as possible. Or mass dispel the clones, dispel the sheeps, rather. Um, have this earthbind totem that's rather annoying, so I kill it real quick here. Trying to focus on just keeping my partners alive, keeping them dispelled out of sheeps, um, purging the mage offensively whenever I can, getting the mass dispels when needed, and... Um, getting the fears when I can as well. So I feared the Boomkin and the Mage there when we had CC onto the Shaman. Um, just has some nice cross CC. Trying to precast Master Spell here. Didn't know if the Mage was going to go down or not. He cast de uh, Polymorph, so I actually death, but he it was on someone else, so then he full sheeps me afterwards. This is Icy Veins and Ebon Bolts. This is definitely scary time here for my Druid. Um, my Druid might have to wall or go Bear Form or use something like that. Um, bear Form wall, there it is. I'm in the Root Beam. I'm actually going to stack Paints up because I think we actually win here as long as we don't die. Um, and this is pretty much our only chance to die because, you know, that's when they popped Icy Veins and a lot of offensive cooldowns and got me in a long CC chain. And I'm running Relentless, so I was like, okay, let's just not die. So I popped Paints up over that wall, got him top back up, off, and um, game's once again going. The Mage has one Ice Block left remaining, so and the Shaman still has to drink it. So as long as we can get uh, some type of CC under the Shaman, um, get the Mage's block off, Continue to pressure him down. We should be able to win the game. Once again here, I'm fearing the Boomkin when we get Cross CC onto the Shaman, so we can't just spam clone onto us um, when we are trying to pressure down the Mage. Mind control this guy half, and here I'm going to sit a very long CC chain of Cyclones and Sheeps, and there's not much I can do about it, but my Hunter and my Feral are playing very smart and just playing back, not pushing in, because right now I'm CC'd forever, pretty much, and uh, they're just playing back line of sighting. Now that I'm out of CC, they're coming back in. Very well played by Tosan and Gimp Daddy. Um, Gimp Daddy's one of my subscribers, by the way, on the Twitch channel. Uh, I've been playing with him a lot this season. He's really good. I think he actually got rank one on Alliance, so congratulations to him. And Tosan is just an awesome guy overall. Pretty cool massive spell there on the block, if I must say so myself. Let's actually rewind that, check it out. Mage is getting low HP. I'm already casting the master spell before um, he even gets into the block, and he goes into the block right now, and the MD's already off, so boom, goes into the block, it comes out. Pretty nice uh, massive spell there onto the mage. Thought we were going to be able to kill right there, but the mage does go ahead and escape anyway. The block was enough to take the feral bleeds off and kind of, you know, get him back topped off. I get a fear onto the Shaman here, so I was fearing the, the Druid most of our goes on, you know, for cross CC, but I do get a fear there on the Shaman, and since the Mage well, was, you know, was getting kind of low, I was like, screw it. I grip the Hunter towards um, the Mage. I death the Poly here that was incoming onto me. The Mage is getting super low here, so I'm actually doing some offensive pressure. We do get Spirit Link. I'm not going to master spell my Druid out of that clone. Maybe I could have, though. Um, Bursting Shots and a Wyvern goes out onto the Druid. I'm trying to keep up Shadow Word Pains as much as I can too, because they do give me the Penance proc that makes it heal a lot more. And yeah, this, this game is probably about to wrap up here. Keeping that Shadow Word Pain up, purging the Riptides as much as I can, casting a Big Light's Wrath, put my Shadow Fiend onto the Mage. Mage is taking so much damage, um, and just with a Bash for CC, that Mage will go down. So pretty cool game there, guys. Uh, Disc Priest point of view, definitely a lot different, because I'm healing and... Uh, just a lot different play style. I'm playing back. I'm, I'm uh, trying to avoid CC and trying to instead of trying to get CC. I am 
just, you know, trying to keep my partners alive, dispelling, offensive dispelling, mass dispelling. So it's just, the, the play style is obviously just completely different than Mage. If you guys liked it, uh, I can definitely, I have, I think, like, 30 or 40 gigabytes of Zar Zari's footage from the last few days of just playing this comp. I can definitely upload more uh, of these Discrease commentaries, so just let me know down below in the comments. If you guys hated it and you want more mage, also let me know, please, because then I will spare you guys the Zari's gameplay and just get back to mage gameplay. Um, I wanted to let you guys know I am working on some more subscriber reviews. Uh, that should be up on the channel. I, I thought it was going to be up on the channel soon. I'm trying to get subs to send me more footage. So guys, if you're a sub on my Twitch channel and you want your footage to be here on my YouTube channel, just send me footage in um, of either playing a mage or a priest. I'm, I'm limiting it to those two right now. And I will take a look at your footage, let you know what you did good, let you know what you did bad, kind of uh, evaluate your uh, footage and have it here on the channel. So if you guys want to send me that footage, let me know. And as always, guys, thumbs the video up if you liked it. I, actually, you can't really see the MMR. Uh, boom. Thumbs the video down if you didn't. And uh, talk to me in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.